Hey guys, Blessing here. So Ned Nwoko turned 61 today and his youngest wife Regina Daniels, who is also currently his only wife, took to Instagram to wish him a happy birthday. This comes just weeks after Ned Nwoko explained publicly why his marriage to his beautiful Moroccan wife Laila packed up. According to Ned Umoko, trouble started between him and Laila after Laila visited London with her kids on vacation. And during the trip, the mother of three allegedly abandoned her kids in the hotel and went clubbing where she contracted the dreaded coronavirus. It didn't end there as Ned Umoko revealed how his now ex-wife hooked up with a strange man in the UK. According to Ned Umoko's statement, Layla and the yet-to-be-identified man got into a fight and the police were invited. Ned also says that Layla went on to get cosmetic surgery without his approval while she was in the UK. And as to the reason why Ned Umoko came out to say all of this, he said he decided to release this statement to clear the air because Layla has continued to play the victim. Here is the exact statement that was put out by Ned Umoko and his team. She had an expensive summer holidays with the kids in London, courtesy of Honorable Ned Umoko, but there were serious issues with the London trip based on her indiscretions when she got to london she abandoned the kids no money was spent on them for their clothes in spite of the generous financial provisions by prince ned umoko she did not take them to the shops but spent the money on herself she did plastic surgery without informing her husband she went to nightclubs and got coronavirus there the kids left unattended apparently caused substantial damages in their hotel suite. If she had stayed with the kids who are minors, they wouldn't have caused the damages. He spent £7,000 as penalty for the damages before she was allowed to go into the rooms to get their belongings. They were moved to another hotel at extra expenses paid by Ned Umoko. It would have been worse if the police or social workers were invited. Moreover, she beat up the kids because they told their father that their mother abandoned them. From clubbing several times, she contracted COVID-19 and had to be isolated. Prince Ned Umoko was compelled to spend additional money to bring the kids back to Nigeria. A nanny was hired at a huge cost to escort the kids home to Nigeria while Layla stayed back in London to recover from COVID-19. She was also in contact with a man. Layla was always on the phone with a strange man. From discreet findings, the relationship with the man started sometime in January 2021, but the bubble burst last August when she went on the summer holidays in London with the kids. Layla met physically in London with the man. According to her lawyer, Layla met with the man in a hotel where he was working. Diligent checks, however, reveal that they met actually on the internet eight months earlier. While in London, she had issues with him which attracted the police. Then she got a lawyer and reported the matter between her and the man. She never informed Prince Nedumoko about her matter with the man which involved the London police and lawyer. How could a wife have issues with a man that led to the engagement of a lawyer and an official complaint to the police in London without informing her husband? Up till now, Ned Umoko does not know the details of what transpired in London. He is totally unaware. One of her friends later told Ned Umoko that Layla was only engaged in chats at different times with the man. It is bad enough that she has been chatting with the man secretly. Layla claimed somebody set her up. Who? Ned Umoko does not know. The reason remains unknown to him. It is pertinent to note that before Layla left for the London holidays, she did not have any problem with Ned Umoko or any other members of the family. As a dutiful, caring husband, he did his utmost best for her. He took good care of her. She was pampered. They went on summer holidays together to America and Europe at various times. He did not treat anyone else better than her. She never lacked. She had all the privileges as a wife. While the marriage lasted, she was never neglected. The neglect of the kids, violence on them, plastic surgery without the knowledge of her husband, wayward lifestyle abroad, contact with a man, police case and involvement of lawyer in London were the major concerns that Ned Umoko found disturbing and unacceptable. In all these weighty allegations, her only defense was that someone set her up. 
She never explained who did and for what purpose. When she returned to Nigeria from the UK, Ned Umoko refused to see her and instead asked her to leave as he could not condone her indiscretions anymore. She maltreated the children, dangerously exposed them and engaged in incident behavior, which no reasonable and responsible man could ever tolerate as a husband. These clarifications had become necessary as Leila had continually played the victim in the open while indeed she is the aggressor. Ned Umoko Media Directorate wishes to reiterate that himself and the entire family has no connection with Jaruma products contrary to false narratives even as he bears no blame on the wildly reported divorce issue with Layla. As an international lawyer, business magnate and philanthropist of repute, Prince Ned Umoko earnestly assures his team in followers and members of the public that he would remain committed to the ideals of integrity, honesty, civility, and service which define his admirable personality. <laughs> All this plenty talk, you guys. The only thing I can say is there is no smoke without fire. I just feel like this man sounds like a very, very jealous, insecure old man. I mean, he's in a polygamous relationship. He has multiple wives. He sent one off on vacation abroad and he is narrating everything she allegedly did there while he was back home in Nigeria with Regina Daniels. I find the entire story questionable and I also find it odd that this woman would suddenly start to misbehave just on one opportunity to be abroad, to be away from her husband. I mean, they've been together for, what, 12 years? And suddenly, Regina comes into their home and now all of these things are happening. I have always maintained that polygamy can never be as easy as people want to make it look. A man is dividing his attention between both women. That alone is enough to make a man feel insecure or to make him feel like another man is going to fill the gap when he's not there. Anyway, Leila hasn't really openly um, explained her own side of the story. The truth eventually will come out. Like I said, I just find everything so strange and so sketchy. But the bottom line right now is that Regina Daniels is the only woman calling herself Ned Wonko's wife at the moment. The question is, is she going to be the last woman to be his wife? Remember, like I said earlier, before Ned Umoko got married to Leila herself, he was previously married with, I believe, two other women. And then Leila came in. Those two other women left. Leila has left now. How are things going to end up with Regina Daniels? It's not like I'm not wishing them a happy ending, but it just seems like history kind of like is repeating itself. Anyway, Leila is now back in her country, Morocco, back to her parents. She is now single. Well, from what we know on the outside, she is now a divorcee and she's just in her 30s. I think she just clocked 30 like a few months back. This lady threw her entire youth away. She got married to Ned Umoko, a man that is over 30 years her senior. She was just a young, pretty teenager then. She really didn't live life. There are things that you have to experience, you have to do. You have to live that life as a young girl. She didn't have that life because she went into marriage way too early. And Ned Umoke is really an advocate of, you know, just go ahead, get married to a virgin, get married to a young girl, and you can get married to as many women as you can afford to cater for. But at the end of the day, the end always tells. These women, some of them are just too, too young to even understand life. They miss out on so much that when they start to attain a certain age then they start to realize that that youthful exuberance start to come back and then they start to find an outlet and maybe that is what actually happened with Layla. she already has i believe she has like four kids now and now she really feels free she feels like a bird she is moving on she is living her life the life that she never lived as a young woman so she's really experiencing a reverse moment right now regina daniels is also 21 years old now ned umoko the man is 61 years old so he's 40 years her senior what is going to happen when regina turns 31 
her mindset is going to be entirely different from how she is now. She would have experienced so much out of life. She would have maybe had two or three more kids or something. Her body would have changed. Her outlook on life would have changed. Her ambitions would have changed. What is going to happen then with her and Ned Umoko? Well, I'm just going to say the end shall tell. So I wish Leila well and I also wish Regina Daniels well. So I'm going to make sure to continue to update you guys if there are new developments on this story. But in the meantime, do make sure to subscribe to this channel for more celebrity news. But if you get to watch this video on Facebook, do not hesitate to like and follow my page and I will catch you guys on my next one.